What's up everybody? Welcome to Monday, October 14th, day 8 of Climbing the Mountain. Again, I'm editing and recording this on October 16th, so we still have the advantage of Future Sight. Um, first of all, I want to talk about the weight that has come down a little bit. We're almost back down to our lowest point since my nacho bar snafu. And then I'll just ride that right into the food for the day. For breakfast, I had Crispix and fat-free milk. For lunch, I had some pizza rolls. And then for dinner, I had macaroni and cheese and milk. During the day, I had sea salt popcorn and light, and I finished the bottle of light lemonade for snacks. And then I'd like to speak about ankle mobility. At the beginning of the project, I had said that I was doing the ankle mobility drill, drills just for the sake of improving my ankle mobility. There's more to that, and I'd like to elaborate. On Monday night, here's my future site kicking in, Brian had asked me to emphasize when I'm doing the ankle circles to pull the foot towards the shin as much as possible and then point it away as much as possible too to really get the benefit of uh, stretching the boundaries of my ankle mobility and to try to improve it. And in regards to his philosophy of building the body from the ground up, he has written me some words that I'd like to read to you to explain that philosophy. And he says, Each foot is made up of 28 bones, 30 joints, and more than 100 muscles, tendons, and ligaments. It's the foundation of everything. Outside the brain, movement, uh, movement starts there. So if there's dysfunction there, it's going to go up the chain and affect everything else. Using the joint-by-joint -joint approach, the ankle is supposed to be mobile. If it's not, the body tries to accommodate by finding mobility upstream, uh, starting with the knee. For example, watch your knees going down the stairs. If you can't, dorsiflex the ankle, and that means pulling the foot towards the sh shin, your knee will collapse inward to go around the mobility, the mobility restriction, and that's not good. Uh, he says, obviously, knee issues are exacerbated by extra weight, and the issues will go up. Um, go up the chain again to the hips, low, lower back, and further up as you go. I appreciate that explanation. It makes a lot more sense. To, um, you know, we know now that if we don't have the ankle mobility, it's going to cause us problems with the rest of our body. So, best to start there, get that right, and move along up the line. Um, I will also include a link. To to an article in the description that Brian has given me. It also talks about the benefits of ankle mobility, so if you'd like to see more, you can check that out. And that is all I have for this video. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.